Justin Warner here for Eat the Universe, and today we're gonna make a Gorgon-inspired pounded flank steak. We're gonna augment that with a little tarragon terrigen mist. Let's get ready to eat the universe. So maybe you don't have the budget of the royal family of Adelan, but you want a steak. Well, I like to show the flank steak. Now the flank steak is uh, generally a cheaper cut of meat because it tends to be really darn tough. But uh, luckily, we can take some inspiration from Gorgon and we can uh, stamp the heck out of it. This is gonna be great. So, let's get Gorgon on it. These mallets are uh, incredible because it converts the lesser cuts of meat into something far better. That feels so good. Let's do it one more time. It evens it out so the steak will cook more uniformly. You're not gonna have uh, thick bits and skinny bits. All right, it's time to season. Here I have my kosher salt. We're gonna liberally season from way up high. And the reason we do it from way up high, because it, uh, it will cause the uh, salt to fall more evenly and disperse throughout the steak. And we'll switch to pepper. Why does Pepper Bay get no love? It's always Salt Bay. Flip this good guy over. More salt from way up high. This is looking great already. I'm pumped. A little more black pepper. All right. So the steak's just about ready to go in the pan, but uh, we're gonna make a little uh, summer squash salsa and also our uh, tarragon terrigen mist. So I'll set this aside. And in a bowl, I'm gonna combine some uh, summer squash. I've diced this up already. I don't know, maybe that much. I don't know, one and a half cups. Then I'm gonna add some chopped tarragon. If you're not familiar with tarragon, I highly recommend you uh, familiarize yourself because um, it's just got this kind of je ne sais, hmm, what is that? I'm gonna add about a, I don't know, a tablespoon to this. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. This is one clove that I've minced. Look at that, that was easy. Then I'm gonna uh, stir this around just a little to combine. We're gonna add some olive oil and a little bit of salt. This is gonna be a really perfect uh, textural juxtaposition against that steak. And our salsa is just about done. Now we're gonna make some tarragon terrigen mist. And believe it or not, it's gonna be the other half of this salsa, but we're gonna disperse it over the steak. Um, well, like it's terrigen mist. It's gonna really amp up the whole thing. I'm not claiming that it'll give the steak superpowers, but it might give it some super flavor. So uh, we need a, a little bit over a bunch of uh, fresh tarragon here. You can see it in its natural unminced state. And then we're gonna use some apple cider vinegar. And this is so, so easy to make. Take a little pot. And do like, I don't know, two cups maybe. And then we're just gonna kind of make some tea here. Vinegar and tarragon tea. I'll just go right in there. And I'm gonna put that over the heat and let it steep while I'm cooking the steak. So now it's steak time. Got it uh, highly seasoned here. We're gonna use uh, two tablespoons of butter as our cooking medium. Over here I've got my uh, vinaigrette on. I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then turn it off and let it kind of steep. It's time to add the steak. Oh yeah. I can start to smell our uh, tarragon terrigen mist here. It's pretty intense. So our steak is searing and the vinegar has come to a boil, so I'm gonna turn the vinegar off. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Ooh, we got a good little crust on there. Look at that. Look at that good guy. I'm really excited to eat this. So the flank steak's been going for about three minutes on each side, and uh, it's looking pretty darn good. We got a nice crust on here. So I'm gonna transfer the flank steak directly to the cutting board, and I'm gonna do nothing. It's because the uh, flank steak needs to rest. You see, when we heat this up, the, uh, the liquids and juices inside of this are kind of going crazy, coursing around. You could hear them sputtering in the pan. And the idea is if that, I cut into this right now, all of those juices, delicious, meaty, gorgonized juices are gonna leak onto the cutting board and not into my mouth. And that's not good at all. So in the interim, we're gonna prepare our tarragon terrigen mist. I'm gonna do it hot because I like to live dangerously. Oh, so aromatic. Whoo! Now we have tarragon terrigen mist. I'm really excited about this. Oh yeah, we're misting. So now it's time to carve and plate the uh, Gorgon smashed steak. And I'm gonna carve perpendicularly to it to make it its most tender. So let's try like so. 
This is gonna be amazing. I feel it. Look at that. Medium Riz Air. Heavenly. It's so juicy. This is the most VIP piece here. See how it's got this like crusty corner right there? We call that chef tax collector. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Now that we've carved, it's time to plate. I'm just gonna plate this using my bare hands uh, because it's steak and I'm an animal. I like to just kind of arrange these strips like a little crisscross pattern. Put these little guys buried in the center. Look at that, so juicy. We're gonna uh, add our summer squash salsa with tarragon. I'm gonna add just one more little dash of olive oil here. For glisten. And then lastly, we're gonna power this good guy up with our tarragon terrigen mist. Oh boy. Woo Don't you just wanna eat that? So we have just one thing left to do, and that's have an unbiased PA taste test. Please welcome Victoria. Hey. Hey, we've got some uh, Gorgon-inspired pounded flank steak. All right, I'm so excited I brought my own pork. Amazing. I like someone who comes prepared. Mm. Mm -hmm. Steaky, tender. It's juicy, and it feels kind of healthy with the squash. So I feel like guilt-free about eating this. This is so good. Hell yeah. Well, I guess thanks to uh, Gorgon and his pounding abilities, it's a uh, mission accomplished steak good enough for a royal family. All right. <laughs>